Well, good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Bad Intentions is showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Kid Dynamite's coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. Number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Little head hunting with the left. Good biting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. Stay on the inside. Get out of the way from those questions. Locks the head shot. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Bad intentions is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Accurate with a straight left. Bad intentions, his movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Halfway through this round here. Kid Dynamite's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Move in, move in. Right to the head with that right. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Kid Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Let's go, hit him. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? Here we go. Round two is underway. Well done. Three-punch series of punches there by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is left now getting into the mix. Left to the body. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is able to land a good, solid left hand. Fires right back at him. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Targeting a left hand down low. Bad Intentions is rocked by a huge hook to the head. Halfway through this round. Kid Dynamite's punch didn't come close. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Bad Intentions is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He 
Keep your hands up, right? You have to keep your hands up. We got it. Nice, good work, kid. I want to see you double up that jab, okay? Now, one for two. We don't need that. Go out of Number three is underway. Back to the body. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Teddy, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's a well-scored left hand by bad intentions. Great movement to get away from those punches. Bad intentions is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed... You're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. He missed with that headshot. Bad intentions is on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Scored well up top. And the bell rings, signifying the end. Just, just keep boxing smart. I need you to box it. You're waiting. Listen, you need to move your head more side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. Bad intentions is bang by an uppercut. Nice. You see him zeroing nice. in with that left hand to the body. Good flush shot upstairs. Kid Dynamite finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Bad Intentions is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. 90 seconds to go in round number four. How about that left hand? That's a forceful two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. A snapping hook by Kid Dynamite. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Kid Dynamite stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. Big left hand. He, oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go.
No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Come on, get both Listen, I need to see Round number five has arrived. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Solid uppercut. Bad intentions. He's scoring very well with the uppercut. What could his opponent be doing to defend against it better? Well, if he sees that hand drop a little bit instead of the shoulder tipping, if you drop that hand to throw the uppercut, there could be an opening, and he should look for that with the hook. Counter right back. That hand drops, bang. Beat him to the mark with the hook. Pull the trigger on that overhand left. Nicely timed one-two. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Hit Dynamite's banged around by a big uppercut. Halfway into round number five here. There's another left hand from him. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Solid left hand to the head. Keep moving, keep moving. You got this one. He got hit, but he sent it right back. Bad intentions is, is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Kid Dynamite's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Keep pushing! Move your head! Scores well to the head with the right hand. Oh, what an uppercut. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Scores with the uppercut. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. He just missed that shot up top. Goes up top with the right hand. Bad intentions, his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, Stay away one of them is to block. Fight. He did it there well. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Good, solid overhand left. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Bad intentions is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Scored well up top. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. And that's the end of round six. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling and he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven.
fight. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Kid Dynamite. Parries that punch intended for the head. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good counter-punch. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Bad intentions is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Close the jam! At the halfway point of round seven. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. That's and it. what Just a like clever that. combination by Kid Dynamite. Uppercut. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Solid. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Nice work to the midsection with the left. And round seven comes to an end. <laughs> Bad intentions is leading on your scorecard as we start round number eight, Teddy. But there is some doubt here. Only a few rounds remain. Yeah, don't forget now in the other corner what's going on. We're just looking at one side here, Joe. But in the other corner, they're very aware. Strong left by Kent. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Look at that combination by bad intentions. Bad intentions is his ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Downstairs with a right hand. Kid Dynamite's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Great hook to the head that time. Kid Dynamite's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Tensions is in the position he wants to be in. Scored the knockdown. Now back in the corner, resetting things. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. 
Well timed by Kid Dynamite. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Kid Dynamite's trying to get back in this round after being Back knocked down much. in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. Bad intentions is the wow! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. That was a miss by Kid Dynamite. Pace yourself. 90 seconds into the ninth round. And now he scores with that left to the body. Two. One, two. The body. Hit yourself. Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Hit Dynamite's hit by a counter punch there. Oh, what a whiff by Kid Dynamite. Bad Intentions is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow, saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off nice. in his head. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Scores big with the hook to the head. Targeting the left hand to the body. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Well placed hook there. A little head hunting with the right. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Kid Dynamite's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Work the body in my shot. Not able to land the headshot. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. There it is! And he beat the count. I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. He's being dominated now. Yes, he got up from that knockdown, but this fight could be over at any moment. You gotta think the referee's taking a look. If he's a good ref, he is, but fighters have come back as dismal as this looks, as bad as this looks, they have come back from four. And a well-placed combination by Kid Dynamite. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. The final bell of what was a thrilling fight, Teddy. And this truly is a fight that could go either way, and you could make an argument either way. Well, let's see which way it went. Send it up to our ring announcer with the official decision.